The home of Shelby County Commissioner Edmund Ford Jr. raided by the FBI this morning. An investigation connected to a computer sold to a local nonprofit. Action News 5's Tavares Haywood is live outside the Whitehaven home where the search warrant was uh, served today and, and what we've learned so far about this investigation. Tavares? Yeah, Joe, 917 Summer Shade Lane in Whitehaven is where County Commissioner Edmund Ford Jr. lives. Now, the address also listed by the Shelby County Election Commission as the home of Edmund Ford Sr. Now, what we have been able to confirm by the Attorney General for the 17th Judicial District of Tennessee that the search was part of a criminal investigation into Ford Jr. Now, part of it was him ushering in a $450,000 grant to the nonprofit Junior Achievement of Memphis and the Mid-South and then selling them computers, a business interest he did not disclose. Now, I did speak to people who live near the home, and they say dozens of Shelby County Sheriff's vehicles as well as unmarked cars were at the home around 6 or 7 this morning. By 10 o'clock, the scene was pretty clear. There was a car in the driveway when we were at the home earlier today. We did knock to see if anyone wanted to comment, but of course no one came to the door. I did call both senior and junior offices, but neither were available for comment. A spokesperson from the Shelby County's mayor's office did comment about the raid in a statement saying Mayor Harris had no prior knowledge of the search warrant served on Commissioner Ford. However, everyone, including Mr. Ford, is entitled to the presumption of innocence. Also, I would like to note that the mayor has been working for some time to advance a series of local reforms and breathe new life into the county's ethics ordinance. Getting serious about these efforts are more important now than ever. Additional information, if any, about the current investigation will have to come from the investigating agencies. Now, now the president and the CEO of Junior Achievement Memphis, Lee Mansberg, also sent us a statement saying we are cooperating with authorities, and that was all. And of course, we'll keep you updated on air and online as more information becomes available. For now, live in Whitehaven, Tavarius Haywood, Action News 5.